Today we are diving deep into one of the most exciting announcements in the world of Linux and open source computing in recent years. The Ubuntu community has long been a driver for innovation, performance, accessibility, and flexibility, bringing cutting-edge technology to users around the world. With the upcoming release of Ubuntu 26.04, Cody named Resolute Raccoon, Canonical is positioning this new long-term support. Kalisa is a major milestone not only for the Ubuntu ecosystem but for the future of Linux itself. We're going to explore how Ubuntu 26.04 is being shaped by the demands of modern computing, particularly the explosive growth of artificial intelligence, machine learning, high-performance computing, model inference, and developer workflows that embrace AI in every phase of software creation and deployment. This script will walk you through what this game-changing integration means, how it will affect developers, businesses, hobbyists, and everyday desktop users and why the future of Linux may be more intertwined with AI than ever before. Ubuntu has always been more than just an operating system. It's a foundation upon which millions of developers build software, educate students, run servers, create cloud infrastructure, and experiment with emerging technologies. From its earliest days, Ubuntu focused on ease of use, stability, and broad hardware support, combined with a commitment to open source values. Over the decades, millions of devices have booted this operating system, from desktop PCs and laptops to cloud servers and edge devices. Now, in 2025 and looking forward to the official release of Ubuntu 26.04 in April 2026, the Canonical development team is pushing hard to make AI not just something you install on top of Linux, but a first-class citizen in the system architecture itself. The integration of AI and model support at this level promises to redefine what an operating system can be. Imagine AI models becoming core components of the compute stack, handled like any other package or dependency, optimized for performance, secure by design, and streamlined for developers and users alike. This is the ambitious future. Canonical is building Traditionally, if you wanted to run AI workloads on Linux, especially tasks that leveraged GPUs, you had to follow a complex set of instructions, install drivers, configure environments, and wrestle with dependencies. Installing GPU acceleration like CUDA on Ubuntu usually meant manually adding repositories, handling compatibility layers and ensuring that all components match the process that could take hours or even days to get right. But changes are happening. In recent developments, Canonical has announced plans to include tools like the ROCM platform natively, in Ubuntu 26.04, ROCM, or Radian Open Compute, is AMD's open GPU acceleration platform for AI, machine learning, and high-performance computing, including support for deep learning frameworks like PTorch, TensorFlow, and Jox. This native integration means that developers and system administrators no longer need to jump through complex hoops to enable GPU acceleration on AMD hardware. Ubuntu 26.04 will be able to install Rochem directly through its standard package management system, eliminating much of the manual setup that has been a barrier in the past. Security updates, performance improvements, and compatibility layers for Rochem will be delivered through normal Ubuntu updates, simplifying AI development workflows, and making Linux a more accessible platform for accelerated computing. Heisen Line. This native support for ROCM is a clear signal that Ubuntu 26.04 will be much more AI-friendly out of the box than previous releases. This game-changing support doesn't just benefit AMD users. It changes expectations for how Linux distros should support AI hardware. Native GPU platforms promise broader developer adoption, more efficient AI workflows, and the ability for organizations to leverage open acceleration stacks without proprietary lock-in. Combined with ongoing NVIDIA support and ecosystem tooling, Ubuntu is becoming one of the most capable platforms for AI development at all scales, from laptop experimentation to supercomputer class infrastructure. But GPU support is just one part of the AI story. Canonical is also reimagining how models themselves are distributed and managed within the system. Historically, Machine learning models and their runtimes sat outside the core operating system stack. Developers would download models manually, manage version mishmatches, and figure out how to load them into applications or containers. Canonical's vision for model integration changes that dynamic by making AI models part of the system's dependency graph, treated similarly to libraries or runtime components. In this model, AI models become first-class citizens, versioned, composable, and optimized just like any other critical software component. Fine-tuned models can be installed, updated, and managed through the same tools that handle everyday software packages. Silicon optimization becomes a part of the installation process so that users get models tailored to their specific hardware. For example, models optimized for Intel, AMD, 
or ARM architectures, would be distributed in a way that automatically selects the most efficient version for the user's system. This approach simplifies workflows tremendously, removing much of the friction that has traditionally slowed AI adoption. Ubuntu, under this paradigm, Ubuntu no longer treats AI as an optional ecosystem bolted onto Linux. AI becomes integrated into the very fabric of the operating system. Models are no longer external curiosities, they are core dependencies, handled seamlessly by familiar package management. This means developers can reference an AI model in their project configuration and rely on the operating system to fetch, install, optimize, and update it much in the way libraries like GTK or OpenSSL are handled today. The implications of this are enormous. It standardizes the AI development experience across systems and hardware configurations, reduces friction and duplication, and extends the open source principles that have defined Linux since its inception into the fast-moving world of AI tooling. Suddenly, the gap between the developer experience on Linux and proprietary ecosystems shrinks in significant ways. Ubuntu 26.04 is not just about the back-end mechanics of AI distribution. On the desktop side, there are signs that Canonical is considering new ways to bring value to users through intelligent tooling and workflows, without compromising the freedoms and control that Linux users expect. While there isn't evidence that general-purpose AI assistants are being forced into the default install, the possibility of integrating smarter system tooling, automation capabilities, and developer workflows enhanced by AI is becoming more real. Conversations in the Ubuntu developer community reveal experiments with AI for tooling modernization, including the potential for context-aware assistants that help with package management, system configuration, documentation, lookup and troubleshooting directly within the desktop environment. Such capabilities could revolutionize how both new and experienced Linux users interact with their systems, bringing a new era of productivity and accessibility without surrendering user autonomy or privacy. Ubuntu Community Hub The integration of AI into the operating system stack also raises important questions about privacy, control, and transparency. Linux users have traditionally prized the freedom to see and understand every part of their system, because Ubuntu and its contributors are rooted firmly in open-source values. The AI integration is designed to respect those principles. Unlike proprietary AI assistants that collect user data and send it off to closed cloud services, Ubuntu's vision for AI places a strong emphasis on open source models, local control, and the ability to opt in or out of services. Developers and users can inspect models, update them independently, and choose whether to enable or disable AI-enhanced features based on their preferences. The promise here is an AI-powered operating system that empowers users rather than tracks them. This philosophy lines up with the best traditions of the open source world tools for empowerment rather than surveillance. Beyond the desktop, Ubuntu's server and cloud offerings stand to benefit significantly from this AI-centric direction. Enterprise deployments already leverage Ubuntu for cloud infrastructure, containers, Kubernetes orchestration, edge computing, and IoT use cases, making AI tooling a core. First-class part of Ubuntu's distribution means that organizations deploying at scale can build deploy, and manage machine learning workflows natively without installing third-party solutions. Piecemeal canonicals. Support for MLOP's tooling, including Charmed Kubaflow and Charmed MLF, LOW further extends this capability. These open-source platforms provide a unified approach to end-to-end -to -end machine learning operations, making it easier to track experiments, manage deployments, and scale production models across diverse environments. Ubuntu's long history in cloud computing combined with these new integrated tools positions it as a formidable platform for enterprise AI. Ubuntu, if you are a developer who builds AI software, this new landscape is thrilling. No longer do you need separate environments to test models locally, then figure out how to port them to cloud infrastructure. With Ubuntu 26.04 and its ecosystem of tools, you can prototype, develop, optimize, deploy, and maintain applications from a single, consistent platform. This streamlined experience reduces cognitive load and allows developers to focus on building features and solving real-world problems. Such an integrated development experience stands to accelerate innovation across industries, from scientific research to industrial automation, from creative expression to financial services, and it all stems from treating AI as a core part of the operating system rather than an afterthought. At the same time, support for hardware manufacturers and diverse platforms continues to grow. Ubuntu's partnerships with GPU vendors Silicon partners and cloud providers mean that developers and users can expect strong performance and compatibility for AI workloads irrespective of where they run. Whether you're working on an AMD GPU accelerated workstation at home, deploying models on ARM based edge devices, or scaling across NVIDIA powered cloud instances, Ubuntu's integrated stack gives you a common foundation. 
That's a big deal because heterogeneity in hardware has historically been one of the biggest challenges in AI adoption. With broader support at the operating system level, developers no longer need separate workflows for different architectures. Ubuntu acts as the unifying layer, abstracting complexity and providing consistent tooling that just works. From a user perspective, the arrival of Ubuntu 26.0 for promises to deliver a smoother, more capable, and more intelligent computing experience overall. Even if you aren't a hardcore developer or AI researcher, the improvements in system tooling, model management, and performance optimizations will translate into faster software, smarter system suggestions, and better responsiveness across a wide range of applications. The everyday experience of using Ubuntu may not suddenly become AI-powered in a flashy advertising sense, but underneath the hood, the system will be far more aware of the demands users place on it and better equipped to meet them efficiently. Because AI can touch everything from accessibility tools and intelligent search to automated system optimizations, the cumulative effect becomes noticeable in subtle but powerful ways. The Ubuntu 26.04 release also fits into a broader narrative about the future of Linux. Linux has always been the backbone of critical infrastructure worldwide, powering everything from servers in the cloud to embedded devices in industrial settings. As AI becomes increasingly central to modern computing, it only makes sense that Linux would evolve to meet those demands. Canonical's efforts to bake AI into the operating system stack showed that Linux is not only keeping pace with the industry, but helping to define the future direction of open source computing. By focusing on open standards, ecosystem partnerships, and community-driven development, Ubuntu continues to honor the core principles of the Linux community while embracing the future with confidence. Looking ahead, it is clear that AI integration in Ubuntu 26.04 is just the first step in a multi-year evolution. What we are seeing now, native GPU support, AI model integration, system-level dependency handling, optimized silicon distributions, and developer-friendly tooling sets the stage for even more ambitious innovations. Future releases may include even deeper system intelligence, context-aware assistance, automated performance tuning, and seamless cross-platform deployments that span desktop, cloud, and edge. The road forward is filled with exciting possibilities, and the Ubuntu community is right at the heart of this transformation. In summary, Ubuntu 26.04 is shaping up to be a watershed. Moment in the history of Linux, it represents a bold leap toward making artificial intelligence a fundamental part of the operating system experience. By bringing model distribution into the core dependency graph, simplifying GPU and hardware support, embracing open source AI tooling, and building a platform that scales from desktop to cloud to edge, Canonical is redefining what Linux can be in the age of AI. The future of Linux is indeed here, and with Ubuntu leading the charge, developers, users, and organizations alike are poised to benefit from this new era of intelligent computing.